No deal. The nurses at Kapiolani Medical Center are set to go on a seven-day strike on the 21st. They say for them, it's about reducing the number of patients they care for at once. When I have two patients and I'm running up and down the hall because I have to be in the room every 15 minutes, I can't spend time with my patient. And we have high-risk patients. The patients are sicker than they used to be. The nurses tell me the last scheduled meeting with their employer only lasted about 10 minutes. They say they are open to having more talks, hoping to avoid a strike altogether. We're planning for the strike, and if they come back and meet us, then we'll be happy to reconsider. But right now, we're serious. The CEO for the state's healthcare association says this staffing situation reflects a statewide nursing shortage. We've got a nursing vacancy rate statewide of about 15% right now. It is over 20% or higher on the neighbor islands. The hospital COO says specialized nurses from the mainland will cover during the nurses' strike. Rathel says typically costing the hospitals double what they pay their nurses on staff. Kapilani Medical Center assuring the community there will not be any disruptions to patient care. You come for prenatal care if you came last week and your baby delivers in two weeks during the strike, your care will not be disrupted. The nurses expected to return to work after the seven days. The union can once again give a 10-day notice for another strike if no agreement is reached. Max Rodriguez, KHON News, Working.